Yo, what's up? Bringing you that I'm that show 19. So, ninth inning conquest board. We ended up completing it. I'm gonna let you guys know where all the special packs are in this or the hidden packs and pretty much what packs you guys can get. So, first of all, the goals pretty simple go stronghold. You have to conquer two strongholds, 38 territories, capture both bat ear territories. If you complete the map, you pretty much get this done. Conquer four strongholds, capture all jack o' lantern teeth territories. To add to the witch's cauldron and then capture 113 territories conquer all strongholds on the map that last one actually gives you a ball and is a habit pack also so this right here is the ghost uh territory you don't have to worry about like that 10 you know if you go on to that spot you pretty much take it over right away and that right there gets you a show pack and then the rest of the board, it's pretty simple. I would focus on one area at a time. So there's obviously three different areas. Um, what I did was I went right to the right-hand side. Not that it really matters. You know, you probably can take the middle first and then choose the side if you want to do it that way also. But like I said, I would just focus on one side first or one area first and then finish that part up and then go to either the right or left side. But I went from right to left pretty much. I guess I thought that was easy. I don't really know. But the, as far as packs go, here's an image where all the hidden packs are. So there's actually quite a few. And you can make hopefully some good stubs out of this. Most of these are pretty much guaranteed diamond packs. So you have a finest set one. You have a ton of show packs you can get. A September Tops Now pack. A finest set two pack. A ball and is a habit pack. You actually get another one because of that last mission where you capture all the strongholds. So we should have two ball and is a habit packs. Then a set 13 pack, a set 25 pack, a September play of the month pack, and then a finest set three pack. So there's definitely a good amount hidden in here. And we're going to open all these up, see what type of players we can get. So let's take a look at all these packs right here. So yeah, two ball and is a habit packs, the set 13, 21, set 25, and then September monthly awards, tops now, and finest set one, two, and three. 1 in 25 odds for these ones to get the rare tier. So hopefully we can maybe get one of those guys. And then six standard packs. I'm not sure how many show packs there is all together. I think there's like 10 to 15 because we had like 50 uh, the other day. So there's probably like 10 to 15 show packs you get throughout that conquest board, which is also pretty nice. So let's go ahead and open up these packs. Let's see what diamonds we can end up getting. So set 13, a chance at Justin Upton or Jim Palmer. Okay, let's see if we can pull a diamond right here. First pack we open up, we get a silver player, Verdugo. Not really that good. Set 21, we have Cargo or Robinson Cano. I actually wouldn't mind Cano. Cano would be pretty nice if we can manage to get a diamond right here. Of course, our controller dies. But we got Kestian Hero right there. So another silver player. Set 25, chance at Fingers or Reyes. Reyes would be pretty nice to pull. So can the headliner give us some good luck? Nope. <laughs> no luck in the headliners pack. So now September player of the month pack. Chad Green would be pretty nice. Or Mankata, I guess. I think I actually picked up Mankata earlier. But if we could get Chad Green, that would be pretty nice. Guess we'll just flip it. Uh, see what we get. So no strikeouts. No ERA. <laughs> Who is it? I feel like this is, uh, is this Diamondbacks? Is this Diamondbacks? Yeah, this is Diamondbacks. That's that Kelly card, right? So, I guess that's okay. <laughs> you know, I, I think we already have him, but Kelly it is. Kelly it is. So, we'll take that right there. 86 overall player of the month card. Probably would just quick sell him and get those 5K stubs. So, that's probably what we're going to do. Now, tops now. Who do we want here? I don't know. Ramos would be nice. I guess Ramos would be nice if we get a Diamond player. So do we get a diamond? We don't. <laughs> no diamond right there. Alex Young, nothing that crazy. Let's uh, let's open up the ball and is a habit because diamond odds in this one probably not as good. Yeah, we get a gold player, Rafael Devers, not good right there. And then the second ball and is a habit pack. And ooh, we actually do get a diamond. Ooh, let's see who we get. Let's see who we get. 175 home runs, 513 RBIs. I probably should already know just by seeing the home runs by now. But I don't. <laughs> I don't. Pepco Park. Who is this? The only one that comes to mind is like Signature Series Santiago. Oh, Mach Machado. Okay. I mean, I don't think Machado goes for anything. I wish it was a Signature Series. That would have been much better. But I guess we get Machado right there. 
5k definitely really cheap right there but 5k is 5k as far as stubs go we also get david robertson yeah i didn't even i, I forgot all about machado to be honest but we'll get that diamond now we'll open up these two we're not gonna open up obviously all of those packs but we'll open up a good amount we'll definitely open up a good amount probably get back down to 50 how about that we'll go back down to 50 for those show packs and hopefully we get another diamond just from these regular packs right here then we'll open up some of the uh the finest packs that we have so so they're right there i think that was still there right let's see more bronze players i never get anything good from regular packs i mean my pack like in general is pretty bad too even though we just got a diamond from a ball and just have it but that's that's rare in itself to get a diamond so the standard packs not that good we'll open up some of these show packs hopefully we get a diamond because last time we opened up show packs we didn't get nothing good so we'll probably open up till we get back down to 50 and hopefully in these 16 packs that we open from show packs you do see a diamond in quite a few bronze players right now so not the best or bronze players i already know this is not gonna be good i already know this is not gonna be good we're seeing way too many bronze players right now way too many bronze players all right let's open up a finest let's let's mix it up let's open up a finest it's not even a choice pack either so let's flip this Find a set one, 394 strikeouts, 9.07 ERA. Oh, is this like Boyd? <laughs> this might be Boyd. Yeah, this is a boy. Man, probably the worst finest we can get. You know, not that great of one, but hopefully he still goes for like 10K. Because the market crashed like crazy yesterday. So all these finest cards, especially set one, they're really cheap. Set one is really cheap. So yeah, he goes for like 6K. I mean, once again, we'll take 6K. It's nothing crazy. Uh, we'll open up some more of these. We'll probably open five and then open up that set too. But give me a diamond. We want a diamond player from these show packs. Uh, gold player right there, Mike Clevenger. Nothing special. And no diamonds. Never. Never getting diamonds from these. Never getting diamonds. Another bronze player right there. Too many bronze we're seeing. Way too many. Oh, there we go, baby. There we go. Give me that diamond. Hopefully it's someone good. I don't want another Machado. 81 home runs. 269 RB. I don't feel like this is going to be a good one. This actually could be... Oh, we're in Chicago. Who's that? Chris Bryant then? Chris Bryant or Baez? One of those two, right? One of those two? Hmm. All right, we got Baez. I guess that's okay. I mean, all these guys right now are like 5 to 10K, I'm pretty sure. Unless it's a 90 overall. They're all pretty cheap. But we get a diamond. I'm, I'm, I'm definitely fine with that. Definitely fine with that. We did get ourselves another diamond player. So we'll take buys. Uh, let's open up some more of these. Some more of these. Can we get another diamond? That would be pretty nice if we can get ourselves another diamond right here. More bronze it is. <laughs> more bronze it is. Let's see. Oh, man. Like, I want to open up more past the 50 mark. But I'm saving them for some reason. So we'll have to think about that. Let's open up a finest pack next. So Carlos Santana. Finest said two, Rendon, Albies, or Glaber would be nice. Like, I already have all these guys, but just to get some stubs back, you know, one of those three would be pretty nice. So, 48 stolen bases. Stolen bases is not a good sign. I feel like that's not a player we really want. So, this is... Who was the Rangers guy? I don't even remember who the Rangers guy was. Was it Santana? Is that who it is? We got Danny Santana. Yeah, <laughs> that one's kind of weak. That one's kind of weak. If he's going for like 15k, it's okay. But other than that, yeah, he's like 12k. I mean, I guess that's okay. But we kind of struck out with that one also. Um, uh, man, I kind of want to open up some more. Let's let's open up like 10 more of these. I feel like we can get ourselves another diamond player. I'm hoping at least. <laughs> I'm hoping we can get ourselves another diamond player. Uh, bronze right there. I don't know, man. I don't know. We're seeing some silver. Steve Pierce. We'll open up seven more. Gold right there. Nothing good right there. Just give me another diamond game. Just give me another diamond. I see too many bronze players right now. If you guys have opened up packs, or if you guys have already done this conquest board, let me know what players you ended up getting out of them, especially from the finest packs. If you actually hit, got one of those rare tier guys. I think we opened up a rare tier yesterday, and we got Lindor. So that was, that was pretty nice right there. But it would be nice if we can get another diamond from these show packs. Doesn't look like it. 
Doesn't look like it. So, yeah, we're, we're done with the soul packs. We'll open up these 40 on another day. But final set three. Um, Just want a big card. Just want a big card. So, zero hit. I don't feel like that's a big card if it's zero zeros. I don't know. What stadium we in? What stadium we in? Ooh, Tatis. I mean, Tatis is good, but... um. It's not it's not the rare tier. It's not the rare tier, but I definitely like getting Tatis. You know, that's not a bad card right there Should be going for 15k, right? You know, he's a set three guy, so should still be going for a good amount and Yeah, it's 13k or so so we'll sell that. I mean we're made we probably made what? 10 20 30 we probably made like 50k in stubs just from these packs So the conquest board not bad, you know, like I said, there is a good amount of rewards in this conquest board so it's always worth doing it, and it's not really that hard in itself to do it. So uh, Conquest Board, definitely worth it. Can get you some free stubs. If you're working on Finest Collection, three free Finest cards you end up getting, and you get some progress done for the ninth inning program, which gives you more Finest cards too. So if you're, you're trying to multitask right there, get some more collections done, that's a positive. And at the very least, it's just extra stubs. So that is the ninth inning Conquest Board with all the rewards and um those are our packs we didn't really get nothing that <laughs> that was like really expensive as far as diamond goes but we did get some additional diamonds machado and bias so that was pretty nice i guess but let me know what you guys got in your packs thank you guys for watching if you guys are new make sure to subscribe drop a like on the video and i'm out